Almost. Close enough. You used to be a baby. In fact, we all used to be babies. Some of us cuter than others, but none of us learn how to walk without first falling down a million of times. Isn't that true? You especially. <laughs> and as babies, it doesn't really matter how many times we fall down, because as babies, we'll keep going up as many times as we have to until we finally walk. See, no baby ever went, I tried this walking thing. It really hurts when you fall down. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be for me. I'm sorry, I'm going to crawl for the rest of my life. No, because as babies, we know that we have the potential to walk if we just keep trying. We also know that as babies, falling down and getting hurt is part of the learning journey. And then we get to school. In school, most of my learning related to memorizing a lot of things by heart, giving them back on paper, and then forgetting about them a week later. Who's ever done something like that? Surprise. And something interesting starts to happen when you struggle at giving something back at paper. You're being stigmatized, and you're being labeled as somebody who's slow, or somebody who's just not that good, or somebody who just needs a little bit more help, mostly because we don't feel like we want to learn, but that we have to learn it. This is not a pause for silence drama. This is preparing for next stage, which was... Sometimes when you try to memorize something by heart, something like this happens. And that's a good, good sign why learning something by heart is not the way to go. In fact, blanked out. Tara is coming in a second. So, what I actually wanted to say was that once you start failing these things, you actually start believing them. You start doubting yourself, just like I doubted myself a second ago. And you start internalizing it. We start making our identity as there's something limiting us, our true potential. And even worse, it affects everything else we do. This here is poison. It's actually my girlfriend's makeup, color-creating cream. Medium coverage, all skin types. But let's say it's poison, and I come to you and I say, hey, this is poison. If you drink this now, you'll immediately feel stupid. And you will start doubting yourself. Do you want some? Do you? Anyone? Of course not. But if I repackage it into words, and instead I say, you ask me a question, I laugh at you, I was like, you should really know this. Are you stupid? Get a book. I just offered you mental pain and mental poison. It's very often by the things we say, not the things we physically do, that we scar people for life. See, the size is really small, but it's not about how big this is. If I hold this for a minute, I'm fine. For an hour, it might start to hurt. What about 12 years? Sarah was a student who received a lot of mental poison. She was a third grader I worked with, and I tutored her. And her first words to me were, I really hate math, and I'm really bad at it. And I said, no, you just haven't found the fun in math. And she was like, right, what's fun about math? I said, hold on, what is something you really like? What is something you really enjoy doing? And she said, storytelling and art, that's really cool. I said, great, forget everything you think you know about math. Take each number and give it a character, and let's tell stories instead. She was like, oh, that's cool. I like, yes. So that's exactly what we did. Whenever you want somebody to learn anything more efficiently, take something they're really passionate and good about and link it to something they don't know. It will speed up the process by a billion times. That's what we did. So two times nine became a swan, was walking with an umbrella on the streets and saw a stick riding a roller coaster. Within one day, Sarah was able to memorize the entire multiplication table, something she was struggling with for an entire month prior to that. 
I'll end with this, because I'm way over my time. Education is meant to inspire people's minds. And if we look at the origin of the word educate, it's from the Latin. And its original root means to come from within, to nurture. It's about filling ourselves up internally so we can give more out, not filling our heads. As babies, we know that. And we all walk. But few of us really start running because we don't believe we can. I'm saying, run anyway. Thank you very much. There you go.